Hey there, it's May 22nd, 2010, and I'm John Nagri, and welcome to my vlog. So, today I'm going to talk to you about this particular movie that I saw the other day. I don't remember what I watched, I think it was maybe Thursday evening, slash, no, yeah, Thursday evening slash Friday morning, because I didn't sleep that night. So, this movie is called The Human Centipede. The people of you who know about this movie are probably throwing up in your mouths right now. What it is, these two girls are on a road trip through Europe and they get a flat tire in Germany on their way to a party and they're out in the middle of the woods and they find this old guy's house, he's a surgeon, and so they go in there asking if they could use a phone and uh, he ends up roofing them, kidnaps them, they wake up on a, like a hospital bed down in the basement, um, there's, a, there's a chunky dude next to him who, and German doctor, surgeon comes down and says, oh you're not compatible or you don't work or something like that so I've got to kill you whoa so injects chunky guy he's dead so now it's just got the two two American chicks who are sitting there flipping their stuff <laughs> and he ends up capturing some Asian guy he's Japanese pardon me and he only speaks Japanese how convenient is that and so they find out that German dude surgeon is world renowned for separating conjoined twins and what he wants to do is conjoin three humans. Doesn't sound that bad for a horror movie, eh? Well, he puts up a diagram of how he's gonna do it. It's gonna involve a lot of changing their anatomy as it is. He's gonna make, he makes incisions to the size of their mouth so they'll open wider, like go, like start here and go up like to here. So they open their mouth and they're gonna put them in a line and connect them gastrically. So basically, you know how they, they say never go ass to mouth? German dude broke that rule. Mm. So, and so, halfway through the movie, and the, the surgery's already done, and I'm thinking, what? The surgery's already done. Should they be, there, shouldn't there be some, like, revolt scene or something where they're trying to get away? That doesn't happen until they're a centipede. There, there is a human centipede through half the friggin' movie. Ah, and, and guess who's on the front? Japanese guy who only speaks Japanese. And then you get to about two-thirds of the way through the movie. Japanese guy, he eats, and then it goes to later. When he, he has to get rid of that. So second girl, who's in the middle, she's like, no, no. But you, she can't talk because her mouth is like onto his bum. And so it goes into her. Later on, chick gets constipated, and third chick ends up, you know, dying because she's not getting enough nu nutrition that she should from second chick's, or middle chick's, waste. Which kind of confuses me anyway, if it's already going to go through two systems. I think that wouldn't already, you know, beneficial stuff that's in there, wouldn't it be gone? So some police, some detectives, they come up and they investigate because a couple of people are missing and their cars were found near the house. The surgeon goes into a rage and becomes suspicious, which is, what a jackass. Really? Really? You could have gotten out of there scot-free. They were treating you like, ah, oh, I'm sorry, this is just protocol. If you had just gone along with it and not been a dick, you, you could have gotten out of there fine. But no, he had to be all freaked out, and he, he put roofies into two of their cups. Only one drank, drank the glass, because the other guy got pissed off, and he was like, didn't finish it. So they leave and come back 20, second, 20 minutes later with a search warrant and the, the, the centipede and surgeon doctor in this time have already had some face off. He's got a scalpel on his leg and can't walk straight. They're... Oh my god. Uh, here's how it ends. Everybody's dead except for middle girl. Girl in the end dies because she wasn't getting enough nutrition. Guy in the front dies because he's like, I've lived a, I've lived a selfish, terrible life. Da, 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 da. Takes a piece of broken glass. And he like digs in there. I was surprised. It's like, whoa, okay, you're killing yourself. I mean, in this situation, I don't blame you. But dang, he just like, just like, dug it in there. Freakiest movie I've ever seen tops it. It, it tops. If you can find me a better movie, leave it in the comments or send me a message. Because, by God, I'll watch it and I'll comment on it. On the topic of freaky movies, a while back, a couple friends of mine, Katie, Chloe, and Heather, 
we watch this movie. You know how they will make uh, like uh, parodies of movies for pornos? We watched um, Edward Penis Hands. Yeah, well, I'm going to go rewatch that and I'm going to give you... Uh, I'm thinking about making a comment. We're thinking about making a commentary for it. How funny would that be? It'd be cool if we could just make a s string of just awkward parody movies. Because uh, there was a, a sex trek and uh, Count Sexula or something like something gay like that. I don't freaking remember, but they look hilarious. In P Edward Penis Hands was hilarious. I will review it for you at a later date, but check this out. Where to go? My dad got into ten and brought me this. This is a jawbreaker. This is like something you'd see in Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Dear God, this is amazing. So anyway, um, my dad's in town. He just went with my sister to pick up his girlfriend who's flying in from California for my graduation. Yeah. And then in the morning, around 7 in the morning, my other family from California, because they booked the wrong flight, they're going to get in at 7 o'clock, and we're all going to have a big, fun, happy week. So this has been John Nagri's blog. I hope you enjoyed it for the most part. Maybe got a laugh out of it. You know, uh, hype you up from other things I'm going to be doing. I reiterate, I'm sorry for the crappiness of my camera. It sucks, I realize. I'm going to work on it, see if I can't get a better one. Because I'm looking at the feedback right now, the screen of me talking, and it's... Oh, the lag. The lag. So, good evening and have a pleasant tomorrow.